Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my kitchen. So I put Maya down for a nap. And now I finally get to eat. And it is 8.30 in the morning. Um, so I am hungry. I'm gonna be making some eggs with, I have this like tomato puree and some cheese. And I'm gonna have some coffee. I'm gonna put the coffee on first. Holiday of Rosh Hashanah starts tomorrow and we are hosting a family with kids. I'm gonna make challah. I thought for the chag, I'll do something special and make a nice round challah. I'll bring you guys along with me as I'm making my challah and post the recipe, of course. So I'm gonna make my eggs now. And in case you're wondering, these eggs from the grocery store are around 13 shekels. This is just for like the regular large, actually these are medium eggs. like shakshuka, but it's the eggs are scrambled with the tomatoes and I don't really do any pre-frying of like onions or garlic anything like that. Got my coffee, should be ready soon, and my eggs. thing I'm gonna make this morning or heat up are these delicious pastries that we got from our neighborhood bakery called Douche and Eat. We got some sweet cheese ones and some chocolate rugula. I think I'm gonna have chocolate rugula this morning. You can find these um, really on any corner street here in Israel uh, or in Jerusalem, uh, these little bakeries that sell rugelach and barekas and cookies. Yeah, and they're pretty cheap as well. So I'm gonna heat some up. So here's the mug I like to use in the morning. It says, be the change. It has little butterflies on it. I got it at Target when we were in the States. Here is the end result. They're amazing. Okay, I'm gonna go eat my breakfast now. Hi everyone, I'm back and I'm going to make some challah now. I'm gonna put a half cup of warm water in here to proof the yeast. Two tablespoons of yeast, seems like a lot, but I uh, need to add some sugar to this to feed the yeast. Kinda sounds like I'm feeding an animal. So here's my yeast, I'm gonna let it bubble for about five minutes. Wow, look how much this yeast has grown. So now I'm gonna use my big bowl. So I'm gonna add two eggs, a half cup of oil, two thirds cup of sugar, five cups of flour, and I only have a half cup here, so this is gonna take a while. And then I'm gonna just mix the eggs and the sugar and the oil together. We moved into our new apartment, like, I think it's been like a month now. I have this list on my phone of all the items that were missing. I need to add a whisker. And I need to add some, a measuring cup, like the, the full set. We'll make two. Part of parenting is like improvising. Okay, and now we're going to add the flour. Now I'm gonna add one cup of hot water. And I hear Maya waking up, so I'm gonna just put this in really quickly. This is a half cup here, so I'm gonna add another, and then I'm gonna go get Maya. Here's Milo, she's awake. You wanna say hi to everyone, Maya? You wanna say hi? Hi! Yeah, we've got some chala that we're making here. Are you gonna come help my mom? Yeah! <laughs> that looks yeah. yummy. It's for the chag, yeah. it's for the holiday. Yeah. yeah, you have a lot to say, don't you? Okay, so the last thing is the salt. Don't think I missed anything here. Yeah. Salt. Oh my gosh, the yeast. When do I add that in? That's okay, I'll just add it last. So I'm gonna put the yeast in, it's really bubbled up. And I totally, totally forgot to add it. I'm sure it'll still be delicious. It's actually supposed to be added, I think, before the flour in. But it'll still be good. Okay, so I'm gonna just mix this whole conglomeration and it's gonna turn into a beautiful dough. 
Now, I'm not sure if this is gonna be too sticky or most, usually it's like I need to add more flour. It's usually more moist. Are you getting hungry? You might have to take a break and feed you. Yeah. How was your nap? Yes, you have a lot to say. Yeah. my fingers now because it's getting hard to mix with the spoon and I start kneading the dough. Parenting hack number one, putting your daughter down on the floor next to you. Here's how it looks like right now. I think it needs a little bit more flour. So I do not have any fancy like KitchenAid mixer. I've always used my hand. I think that the KitchenAid is pretty big appliance and in these small Israeli kitchens there's just no space for a KitchenAid. I don't know what it would be like with the KitchenAid mixer. Maybe some of you have one and are just used to using it and like the texture of the challah. I know it makes a nice fluffy challah from what I've heard. But I just do it the old fashioned way. It's kind of a stress reliever too. It's like squishing a stress ball for like 10 minutes. Yeah, you staying busy? What is that? Yeah. Yeah. You're so happy. So here's the dough. And I'm gonna let it sit and rise for like three hours. And then we're gonna come back to it and make some round, sweet, raisin cinnamon honey challah for Rosh Hashanah. I'm gonna just cover my challah dough with some plastic wrap because this is gonna really rise and I don't want it to come out of this bowl. And then I'm gonna just um, keep the moisture in by covering it with this, this towel here. Yeah. Maria! Excuse you. <laughs> so I'm gonna go up the hill now and get a birthday gift for Talia. Show you around the neighborhood. Talia's birthday is coming up this Sunday and it's just all happening so quickly. We have Rosh Hashanah coming up tomorrow evening and we're hosting. I wanted to go to this toy store they always pass by and maybe pick up her gift there. And then I still have the challah to make. And since we're hosting tomorrow, I also have kuba soup that I wanna make tonight. Here's the toy store, it's called Hamam Lacha Shel Moraya, and that's where we will be going. It's a little strip mall here with the health food store. You've got um, the produce store, and this is the some apartments above. All of these convenience stores and grocery stores are like maybe a 10 minute walk from where I live and it's very convenient. It's very hilly city. So even if it's like a 10 minute walk, it's like some of, part of it is gonna be uphill, if not all of it. <laughs> Look at this beautiful dough. Look how much it's popped up. So unfortunately, the honey leaked out of the challah and burnt, but the rest of the challah was actually really good. So I just picked up Yoni from Ghan and we're heading to Park Agvaniya. Here's Yoni. Yeah. 
very green. Do you want to show everyone what you made? Can you tell us about it? What's in the bag? I'm a shofar. Wow, what do you do with the shofar? It goes, Foo. That's right, you go, do, 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 do. So Yo-Yo got a popsicle from the Macaulay. Ima got a popsicle, mine's a Solero brand, watermelon. And Yoni has one of these ices. Is it yummy? Ooh, does it have a pot on to it, a flavor? Yeah. What flavor? Is it watermelon? No. Is it cherry? Do you that? Yeah. And also apples. Wow, that's a good combo. Now we're going to head to the park. The Ava and Tata. Hi Saba and Safta, we wanted to send you a special message, even Talia and Yoni and Mom is here. We wanted to say Shanato Ka in Tuka. Do you want to sing a special song from your gown that you learned, Talia? Yoni, you know a song? Okay, ready and sing. Shanato Va Shanato Va Shanato Va Shanato Va Yay! Papai! Yay! 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 Yay!